Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. Happy New Year guys. Welcome to 2024. I hope everyone has had an amazing start to the year. We are going to smash it this year. So if you aren't already and you are going to smash this year, you want to smash this year, you want to smash your weight loss goals, your health fitness goals, and just improve yourself and become the best version of yourself, make sure that you are already subscribed and you click the bell button so you don't miss an upload. So if this is the first time watching my videos, you don't know who I am. My name is Louise. I used to be morbidly obese and in January 2020 I started my weight loss journey and I lost 120 pounds and I share all of my weight loss tips, everything I've learned and my journey here on YouTube. I used to be 269 pounds and I'm five foot seven just for reference because in case you haven't seen any of my videos and you want to know that is a common question I get asked. So yeah I used to be 269 pounds and I'm five foot seven and I lost 120 pounds. I've went on to do a bikini competition. I've done a photo shoot, which I share. I share my what I eat in a day videos. And this year I will be sharing a lot more of my what I eat in a day slash vlog videos. So today's video is about why you're not losing weight because you're not uncomfortable enough. I've been reading this book called 101 Essays That Will Make You Think by Brianna West. Brianna West, I think that's how you say it. I've been reading it. I've been listening to it on Audible and I've nearly finished it. And then I've ordered the book as well so I've got the book and I'm reading the actual book but I've been listening to Audible and there's one thing in the book that she said that really stood out to me and I think it's so true for weight loss as well like in life in general and in weight loss and what she said is that as humans we like to feel comfortable and we like being in comfortable positions even if the position that we're in isn't good for us or we're not happy in that position but because we have found a routine and comfortability and the only time that we actually change is when the position that we're in is so uncomfortable that not to change will be more uncomfortable than to actually change so for example like when you're at a job you got you start a job and you're not happy at the job but you stay because you eventually get comfortable with the job and you're in a routine and it'll be more uncomfortable for you to look for another job and go through that whole process and then start a new job and so that's why a lot of people stay in jobs where they're not happy same with relationships same with anything in life and when i read this i was thinking that it relates to weight loss as well because the amount of times I tried to lose weight before and I wasn't successful and I was thinking that's probably because I was I weren't happy with my weight of course I was I wasn't happy with my weight and that's why I wanted to change it but it never got to a point where I was so uncomfortable that the change and the process of losing weight the uncomfortability that comes with losing weight everything that you have to basically do to lose weight the changes you have to make that was more uncomfortable at the time than staying the same. And the only reason why I was actually successful this last time that I tried to lose weight was because I got to a point where I was so uncomfortable with the way I was that I was willing to go through the uncomfortability to actually lose weight. So the, the whole process of losing weight, changing my whole lifestyle, exercising, counting my calories, doing all of that was actually less uncomfortable than it was to remain the same and I do remember thinking it's either I push through this and lose weight and actually feel healthier and better in myself and happier or remain the same and the thought of remaining the same felt so much more uncomfortable to me than actually going through the process of losing weight and sticking through those hard times. I don't I don't know why but I felt like it was important to share this in a video because I know there's so many of you guys so many of us basically that want to lose weight but keep giving up if that makes sense like keep trying diets and giving up and even if it is a sustainable diet a state sustainable way of losing weight some people just find it harder and i do think that is because they haven't got themselves to that point and loads of people who have lost weight call it like the click moment like for mine I've done a whole video on it but mine was I just got to a point where I was my health was getting impacted by my weight like daily tasks were getting harder to do I was just so unhappy I was depressed I was anxious like I hit the lowest point and I was so uncomfortable I went out for my friend's birthday and I wore an outfit that I felt so uncomfortable in and I was just I just realized that night I was like I'm just so unhappy I'm so unhappy and I don't want to feel like this anymore I I just can't do it anymore I can't I can't carry on like this if that makes sense like what kind of life is it to live feeling like this and it will only get worse and I kind of woke up to that reality if you're at a point where you want to lose weight but you're not feeling that uncomfortability I feel like I don't want you to like 
look in the mirror and pick out everything you hate about yourself. I don't want, I don't, that's not what I'm trying to say. But I think what would help is to wake yourself up to the reality of where you're at. And maybe, like, for example, taking the before pictures. It's so uncomfortable to take the before uh, the before pictures of what you look like now because it's uncomfortable to see what you've done to yourself. Or, I don't, that sounds horrible to say, but that's just from my personal experience. Like, when I t- did take the before pictures, I, I really didn't want to see what I actually looked like because I'd gone so long in denial by not looking at my body, wearing loose, loose fitting clothing, like, no jeans or anything just leggings and stuff like baggy tops and I'd wear stuff to cover myself up I wouldn't take pictures of my body or like with my body in it I wouldn't look in at my body in mirrors like I would avoid taking that accountability and looking at the reality of it same with weighing myself I didn't weigh myself for a long time all of these things like weighing yourself taking the pictures looking at the health consequences actually sitting down and being real with yourself like writing down exactly what your weight is stopping you from doing and maybe like just instead of ignoring those because it's what I feel like a lot of us have done is ignore all of those signs that make us feel uncomfortable we kind of just keep pushing it back to the back of our minds and that's helping us stay comfortable in the position that we're in and even though we're not happy with our weight and we do try to lose weight because we're not woke we've not woken up to that uncomfortability that we decide to just stay in it if that makes sense like and that the uncomfortability of losing weight gets so hard that we end up just reverting back to being comfortable and it's also like a form of self-sabotage which I do want to do a whole video on on self-sabotage because I feel like that is an important subject as well because a lot of us do self-sabotage our weight loss because we maybe feel like we're not good enough or we don't deserve it or we just so we get so uncomfortable and we don't like that uncomfortable feeling. So I do feel like to be successful in your weight loss, you need to wake yourself up to the reality of what it, it will be like, especially in the future. For example, like looking at the health complications, like if you, I don't know, like for me, I was getting dizzy walking up the stairs, like I was seeing stars and like if I got up too quickly, I, I would see stars, I will get out of breath just walking for a little bit or going up a flight of stairs, I'll get really, really out of breath. I was just breathless at rest. Like, I didn't even realise it at the time, but I would sit down and I'd just be like, <sighs> like it was harder to breathe. Making yourself realise where you're actually at and waking yourself up to it will make you a bit uncomfortable. And I think that uncomfortability is going to help you actually push through the uncomfortability of you losing weight. Learn to actually be comfortable in the uncomfortable because that's where the magic happens that's where change happens is you need to be a little bit uncomfortable and it will be uncomfortable anything worth having isn't easy to get so remind yourself of that but yeah I just wanted to make this video because I think it just it just really stood out to me and I just felt like I wanted to talk about it like I wouldn't I feel like we don't think about that I don't know I didn't think about that at the time but it was a massive thing that happened that it was that click that happened for me is being so uncomfortable with where I was at that the thought of losing weight was wasn't that was like easier that was less com- that was more comfortable than actually staying the same because there is a pattern that I've noticed in people that have lost weight and I've watched like their stories weight loss stories I love hearing about it and one thing that I've noticed that is consistent with everyone is that there was always something that they basically reached a point where they were so uncomfortable for example like having a health scare or they just got to a point where they were like reached their click moment like something happened and it made them like wake up if that makes sense and be like do you know what i need to change and it that it was like they they reached a point where it was so uncomfortable for them to remain the same that they had to change and i just think it's really interesting that that we work like that if that makes sense like that we even though we're not happy in a certain situation and we don't we want it to change that if we feel comfortable in that position in the sense of it just being our normal that we will always try to find that comfortability again even if we try to change as soon as it starts to feel more uncomfortable than where we were at before we will revert back to that even though that's not what we want so maybe having this information will be useful in the sense of when you do start to change and you start to feel uncomfortable if you remind yourself that you're not happy where you were before it, you were just comfortable because it was what you knew so to push to get to where you want to go you're going to have to feel uncomfortable and almost take that uncomfortability as a sign that you're changing and that it's yeah it's uncomfortable but you have to kind of learn 
to be comfortable with that if that makes sense like you have to learn to push through that uncomfortability and like I was saying before it's like once you push past it you'll see the other side and that's where you see change and progress yeah I think the only other way you can use this kind of to help you is to make yourself feel uncomfortable now like make yourself realize that this is more uncomfortable to stay the same and even gain if you gain more weight over you over the years what that will do to your health in the long run wh where you will be if you carry on this way a little bit of uncomfortability uncom i don't even know if that's a word uncomfortability but i'm making it a word that little bit of feeling uncomfortable while you're losing weight is going to be so much wor more worth it than staying the same and feeling comfortable now but in the long run you're going to be really uncomfortable because you're not going to be happy with where you are and you're, not, you're going to be unhealthy and there's health complications obviously of becoming obese or overweight. I, I don't know, I just really wanted to make this video because it just really stood out to me and I don't know why, I, I just, I heard it and I thought of that and I was like, that's so true, it's just so true. But yeah, I hope you guys find that helpful or useful, you can use that bit of information. You probably already knew it, but sometimes it's good to hear it again. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys find that helpful and you can use it in your weight loss journey and just in your life in general. I think it's a really good bit of information, knowledge. I hope you guys enjoyed the new year. I hope you guys smash your goals. I'm about to go train at the gym now and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and yeah, join the family if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.